Okay, so today I wanted to share with you guys my top 10 Dance Moms episodes of all time. At number one, I have Nationals 90210, season two, episode 26, my favorite episode of the show ever for a bunch of reasons. So this is the group dance, the last text. It is very iconic and it's just about, you know, don't text and drive. I thought that they all did great. It's a very thought provoking dance. And one thing that kills me after this dance too is Kathy's confessional. Whenever she's like, they drag out this car seat. Did that come off of Christie's front porch? Her delivery was so funny. It gets me every single time. And I did end up winning first with this. And then Chloe does win a title with her contemporary solo silence and this was a great moment for her she beats justice who beat her earlier that season and she also beats maddie as well and so i mean just what a crowning achievement christy said that she thought she had no chance with winning with that solo which is really interesting to me you know but i mean what a great moment love the costuming love everything love the whole moment and everything i liked maddie solo as well also mackenzie and brooke won titles as well mackenzie did killer b which was a really cool solo and then brooke does the iconic the diary of Anne Frank and so there's just a lot to like and candy apples they had all that stuff to say about them and then they got beat and they got first in everything that they did and so yeah I just want to feel good episode easily number one two number two the apple of her eye season three episode 12 and so this is the infamous Rosa Parks episode Abby says you know we're gonna do a routine based off of Rosa Parks but I don't know who's gonna be playing her yet which is just ridiculous to even say and so Jill is like you know if Nia's not gonna play Rosa Parks it might as well be Kendall she should have a special part and all the moms are outraged at that like how could you even say that basically and so she said that producers made her do it and everything but knowing jill she always wants kendall to have a special part i would not put her past her but i mean it's still really funny regardless and so that's just funny to watch nia does eventually get the lead and she kills it and this is the one where brooke forgets the group dance but at the end it works because it looks like she's mad that she's sitting in that seat and it's really representative that time so it honestly works and this is also the episode whenever christy says who is abby to be calling out holly on her fashion sense i mean really my favorite part about abby's accessories is that they're all organized in a shoebox by color red plastic rhinestone crap Blue plastic rhinestone crap. Iconic. One of Chrissy's best confessional. When Chrissy wants a confessional, nine times out of ten, she was gonna eat. So this is just a really entertaining episode to watch overall. I think it's one of the longer episodes on this season too. And so absolutely love it. Had to throw it high up there. Now on to number three, Camouflage Maneuvers, season three, episode 11. Having this and the Rosa Parks episode and the one with Rochelle Rock coming in back to back, oh, they ate. And so this is the one where the group dance is Don't Ask, Just Tell. And this is just showing Abby's support to the gay community. And Kelly even has a talk with her kids about it. And so there's that moment there. She said they cut out a lot of footage of stuff that she actually said. And so it's just really entertaining because of that moment. And the routine is camp. It really is. Like seeing the whole concept of the episode, I actually enjoy the routine more. Maddie has our uphill battle solo which i feel like is really underrated as well and then this is the one whenever holly's arguing with jill about what happened the previous episode about the dig it duet that nia and kendall did and jill was being a sneak and then jill is like why are you entitled to your opinion and i'm not entitled to mine and then holly's like you're entitled to your wrong opinion iconic iconic and so yeah this is one of the longer episodes i thought it was super super entertaining and this scene is from whenever she was asking them about did you see mackenzie doing cartwheels or anything because there was a whole thing about the foot and so yeah this episode absolutely ate and one of the best episodes in season three one of the best episodes ever Two, number four the competition begins season one episode one one of the best pilots of a show of all time i do not care they're setting up the dynamic from the very start with the moms what they think about each other and just how everything goes in out of the studio so you already have that and you know with the girls and their kind of places there and this is the start of the pyramid because i said before the show they didn't even have a pyramid so there's that and so the group routine was party 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 this was a really fun group routine and everything and then they also did the 15 minutes of fame trio with maddie chloe and Paige. and then this is one where chloe's headband falls and then that's the entire thing but her doing a side area blindfolded oh she ate so yeah i just think that this is a super entertaining episode and you know just a premonition of what is to come with this series but there's always something special about the start and this was just a really good way to set up the show in my opinion five jill on the rampage season two episode six so this is the one whenever they go to the competition in texas because their competition got canceled and abby tells them like hey you need to make your own costumes for this i don't want you to wear any costumes you've already worn before and so jill doesn't listen of course abby finds out she got really mad and then jill's like of course i didn't make it i'm not becky homeki and then she's like i'll pack my things and go and then she gets all mad and she has like that whole moment and her and the cowboy hat is so funny then of course christy's confessionals and then she's like joe's screaming and cursing and all i'm thinking is you're so hard to take seriously in that hat something like that so yeah christy confessional like i said are really, really funny 
so that scene was iconic all the girls get to have their own solos and shine as well Paige does win with her solo this episode I really enjoyed it I really enjoyed it definitely an iconic moment in Dance Moms history now on to number six, Chloe versus Kendall, round two, season four, episode four. And so this is the one whenever Chloe and Kendall go up against each other again because the last time Kendall fell out of her turns, Chloe asked to go last. Jill had a lot of controversy about that this entire season, which was just annoying to me. So Abby puts them up against each other again. This is from Chloe's solo record, beautiful lyrical routine. And then Kendall had a jazz routine haul up. Kendall was definitely set up with that routine. I will say that she's had better solos. And so there's that. Chloe does end up winning with this. And then she also got the beautiful from head to toe award or some other award for this as well. And then for the group dance, this is whenever they did the Witches of East Canton because they were going against the Candy Apples. And the Candy Apples episodes, for the most part, are pretty entertaining. So I thought that they did a great job with that dance. Maddie was the lead, and so they won with that dance. Just a really entertaining episode overall. One thing I really liked was just the staging, how clean the staging looked. So I really liked this episode. I did. Now on to number seven, Maddie versus Mackenzie, season five, episode 23. Maddie has a tap solo, and Mackenzie has the acrobatic routine. And so they go head to head, and Mackenzie does end up winning. And so so the fact that they had no faith in her and everything, I mean, the choreography was just better. She did a great job with all her tricks. She nailed it. Nice, clean, acrobatic routine. She did what had to be done. So it was a great moment because of that, yes. But also the group routine was beautiful, bizarre. And that's definitely one of the best group routines to ever be on the show because they had an outside choreographer did it. And it's kind of just like a breath of fresh air compared to like everything else that they did because it gets kind of tiring seeing the same like monotonous like eight steps all the way through. But you know, they did something very cool with that routine. So I like this episode a lot. Now on to number eight, the best is yet to come, season seven, episode 27. And so this is the final episode of the show, really, from everyone who watched from the beginning and you just wanted to see everything all wrapped up. And I just think that this was a beautiful ending to the show, really, because Chloe is back and then you have Kendall and Nia and then you have Kalani and Cameron. And so they're competing as the Irreplaceables in their final dance competition ever. And Chloe, Kendall, Nia, and Kalani have solos and they compete those. And at the end, they're just kind of reminiscing on everything. On to number nine, welcome back. Now don't get too comfortable season four episode one one of the best dance models premieres of all time i'm sorry they meant business whenever you see the new intro and just all the colors and aesthetics that they had the season they went all out and this season just peaks in terms of the aesthetics and the choreography abby was definitely on a tear with the choreography i'm gonna give her a tens that one time because there's so many good routines this season the strength of the group routine the souls all those things and so this first episode Maddie has her birthday solo, which was excellent. Nia has a solo as well. And this was a trio buckle up that had a Chloe, Paige, and Kendall. And this is like the best trio on the show. They all look super sharp. I love the costuming and stuff like that. They did what had to be done. The group dance was Girls Night Out. And then this is the one where she basically makes fun of Christy and Leslie's fight that they had in New Orleans. Brooke went to go sing with Jana Kramer as well. So they had that part in the episode, but a really good way to start off the season, I feel. Now onto my 10th and final pick. This is Return of the Candy Apples, season two, episode two. And so, so this is whenever they did the bad apples group dance which was really entertaining brooke has her garden of eden solo and then whenever kelly is bringing in the apple then abby starts yelling at her and then she's like do you want us to be hands-on moms because you just told nia her mom didn't love her <laughs> that kills me every single time so many scenes on dance films that aren't that funny objectively but just like in the context of the episode watching it i just laugh really hard so that was really funny to me brooke ends up winning with her solo erica from candy apples got disqualified because she was entered in the wrong age division so there was that now on to my honorable mentions so first up we got she's a maniac season three episode 13 this is the one whenever rochelle rat comes to choreograph for them and the routine is gold digger and i really liked it because Paige had the opportunity to be a lead so it was just something that was different and then chloe also had her black heart solo which i really enjoyed this episode she does win first with it and then abby got some out of her exit which kind of dampers it but it was a really good episode regardless next up kathy brings it on season one episode 10 and so this is the one whenever they go against kathy and her studio and so kathy gives her student chloe solo music to kind of psych them out and then it falls flat on her face because they end up losing and chloe won with her solo dream on a star iconic solo we know it we love it and i believe the group routine was my pumps i like that routine as well and then maddie has her disappear solo which was incredible and so there was a lot to like about this episode Next up is Gone Abby Gone, season three, episode 33. So Abby's gone from the studio, and this is the one whenever Christy's like, Gia's at the front desk, and I just assume Abby's at a headband cell somewhere. Oh, she ate. And so this is Maddie's holding on to solo, one of her best solos on the show, and they have Hannah come on. And so Melissa asking her if she can jump on a trampoline when she had brain surgery, like, why would you ask her that? But that scene was just so funny. You can't jump on a trampoline, can you? No. Our kids can jump and jump. Like, why would you say that? Why would you? But that scene was so funny. 
Asia does her lightning solo with shade. I'm pretty sure the group was just me. Not one of my favorite group routines, but a lot of people go up for it. And I'm pretty sure that Brooke has a solo in this episode as well. Everyone's replaceable, season two, episode one. So this is basically just where they have the audition to replace Vivian. And Kendall basically said they already picked for the show. They just had to do the formal audition for the show and everything, but she was already going to be on. And so Jill and Kendall join the show and they add to that dynamic as well. And this is the group routine, Sassy Dolls and Chloe, Maddie, Kendall and Nia have solo so those were fun to watch as well favorite part of this episode is whenever abby and kelly are arguing in the dressing room afterwards and then kelly's like i can show you my discover card payment that shows and then abby's like you're the reason i don't even take discover anymore oh she ate she ate. that was so funny it's one of my favorite moments on the show so yeah i thought that this was a really good season premiere setting everything up nicely for season two Last one is going to be presenting my new team season four episode 16 and so this is the one where abby brings in the select team and she pairs them up next to the original girls and was like here's going to be your new competition you're going to go head to head and see if you can beat them basically and what does she do put chloe right up against cameron and everything but the thing is chloe ends up winning with her solo lucky star which was a gorgeous solo, especially the turn sequences cameron gets third overall and that's what killed me with her mom was like oh she deserves that win not only did she get beat by chloe she got beat by somebody else so i don't want to hear it you said all this stuff about chloe how your daughter's gonna win how she's not real competition and then your daughter just got beat by chloe so be humble take the l and why are you supporting abby going in the dressing room trying to take away chloe's win like your daughter lost like it is what it is and so chloe just needed the win in that moment she was able to deliver that was a great moment and so that's why i really like this episode maybe it for my list let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and also let me know your favorite episodes of dance moms or the any you feel like i left out there's so many good episodes of the show and i feel really good about my top 10 so let's continue that conversation down below in the comments and so if you wanted to see more videos like this i've done a lot of videos on dance moms i review it every single season now by the time you see this my season 8 review will be out now and so i've also shared like my favorite moments on the show is like an hour-long compilation a lot of niche moments are in there too and then i have also shared my favorite solos for all the original girls and i also shared them for kendall and kalani as well and so i really like those videos so there's a lot of dance moms material to go around and i have some more ideas that i will be rolling out so subscribe if you would like to see more and the playlist will definitely be linked down below if you want to watch those and it'll be at the end of this video for sure and that's going to be it for the video thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy it give it a like below it helps you a lot and you i very much appreciate it you can subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this if you hit the bell you get notifications to your phone i post so you not miss when new videos come out the first link down below in the description is going to be my main channel just posted my michael jackson history album reaction i'm also going to have twitter instagram spotify tiktok and my airbus if you'd like to follow me lastly free palestine this is something that we must educate ourselves on thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one